Hey you guys, it is Fluffy Girl Jess. So I have a little bit of a haul for you guys today. It's just a little one, but um, this is um, a few things that I've picked up when I have when I was supposed to be Christmas shopping. Uh, yes, I did go Christmas shopping too, so, but um, this was a few things that I saw that I picked up that I was just um, kind of flipping out over. So, um, We'll start with the oldest one first. Um, we recently got a store called Box Lunch at uh, my local mall, and I got a coupon from them, and it was an offer I couldn't refuse. Uh, it was a really, really good coupon. So I went to go check it out, and this store is my paradise. It is all things adorable and pop culture and awesome. So, um, this is my box lunch bag right here. Um, and no, I didn't really buy that much stuff. Some of it, um, I'm not going to show you because it is Christmas presents. Um, but two things I will show you. I got a, <laughs> yes, I've been adding to my quirky backpack collection. I have a new Totoro backpack and it is so cute and here are his little ears but this is like a regular backpack not like a little character plushy backpack but I like those too but yeah so cute and his belly is fuzzy and this is a pocket right here and the little key uh, the zipper pull key <laughs> <laughs> it's late, you guys. Um, but the litter, uh, litter, <laughs> the little zipper pull is a leaf. And I think this is adorable. Um, this is the back. And it has Totoro, like, embossed in the back. How cute is that? Um, I it it feels like leather, but I think it's vinyl uh, because I didn't pay the leather price for it. Um, but oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. And I got this at Box Lunch. They had a Gudetama, uh tote bag too, and I had a hard time deciding which one to get, but I went with the Totoro because I love Totoro. And I also got these super duper awesome unicorn band-aids for when Mino Kitty decides to uh, seek out retribution on me. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I get for loving on him. He he gets all grouchy about that sometimes and uh, bites me in the nose or or the cheek or the lip or the eyebrow or yeah. He can be quite the toot. So, that's what I got from Box Lunch, you guys, is the Totoro backpack and the unicorn band-aids, which I think are pretty cool. And like I said, that's all I can show you from there. Um, the next place that I went uh, was actually uh, this weekend. I went to Box Lunch uh, about a month ago. So, yeah, Woo. Um, the next one I'm going to show you, um, I was kind of in the Christmas spirit, and I saw this little guy, and I had to have him. He is a Labbit from Kid Robot. I have quite a few of these little Labbits. Look, he's in elf gear. He has a little stripy t-shirt, and green overalls and look he has a he has a butt flap look ready are you ready he's gonna moon you just be careful <laughs> I thought that was so funny but I have a weird sense of humor anyway but I thought he was really cute and he has his little his little elf hat and his awesome mustache as always see look there's another one right back here Here's my other little labbit. But I have quite a few of these guys. I just, I think they're adorable and weird. So yeah, I had to pick this one up. And I got them at Barnes and Noble. 
I thought he was really cute. And he has jingle bells on his, on his shoes. I thought that was so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, and then when I went to go check out <sighs> Barnes and Noble got me. I love Pusheen, the little gray cat. And I got another backpack. Oh, look at that. The only way that this backpack could be any cuter was if it had the little Pusheen tail. But sadly it doesn't. But I thought this was so stinking cute. So if you guys are Pusheen fans, go check out Barnes & Noble. They have got a ton of Pusheen stuff right now. And it is super cute. Very, very cute. But yeah, found out at Barnes & Noble along with my elf labbit and the next thing I'm gonna show you I actually picked up yesterday at my local Hallmark store because I've been looking for they're supposed to be coming out with um, like a reproduction of the original Rainbow Bright and Stormy dolls well I've seen Stormy but the one that I really, really want is Rainbow Bright. Um, and my store hasn't had her in yet. But I've got one on order, so she's coming. So maybe before Christmas, I'm hoping. Um, so, But I had to go scope it out again and make sure that they didn't sneak one in on me and I didn't know about it. But I found this. <gasps> oh, it's a little Rainbow Bright wristlet. And she looks like the rainbow bright itty bitty that um, that are at the Hallmark store. <gasps> Look, she's so it's so cute. I love little wristlets. I think they're adorable, and it's super soft. But I thought she was really cute. So if you guys are looking for like quirky Christmas presents for for people in your life that march to the beat of a different drummer, <laughs> go check out the Hallmark store, Barnes and Noble, or Box Lunch if you have one of those stores where you live because those stores are so cool. I walked in and I was just like, oh my gosh, I like that. Oh my gosh, I like that. Oh my gosh, I like that. Yeah, I, I had to force myself to leave. Uh, anyway, but yeah, so cute. My little rainbow bright wristlet. I'm pushing backpack. My little elf. I think he's so cute. And then my unicorn band-aids and my Totoro backpack. Uh, yeah, but I, I actually did go Christmas shopping too. So it wasn't all just, you know anyway <laughs> anyway you guys thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i will see you guys later and it will be a toy review i promise so yeah bye guys